Welcome to Matters of the Heart podcast with Rashonda, Sunday Thoughts Edition. Let's face it, life puts a lot on our plate, for better or for worse. We go through so many things every week, whether it's mundane or unusual. Regardless of how your experience has been, it's imperative to take a step back. This Sunday, let's take time to reflect and think about those experiences. I am your host, Rashonda, and I'd love you to join me as we explore how everything we experience relates to the Word of God. This isn't about preaching, but it is about discovery and listening to God's subtle but reassuring voice. His messages are often hidden in plain sight in everything that happens to us, good or bad. Hello, everyone. This is Matters of the Heart podcast. Here we talk all about inspiration, motivation, wellness, and mind peacefulness. We share experiences, advice, and knowledge to help you improve your life and learn more. Now, the content is 100% for you, and your host on this journey is me, Rashonda. Happy Sunday to you. I hope you are doing well. Hope uh, everything is going well. I know most uh, everybody is excited about Christmas as that's coming, as they say, this week. So um, I am definitely looking forward to spending time with family. I hope you're looking forward uh, to spending time um, with family. But, you know, while this is a, as they say, a joyous time of year or supposed to be, um, sometimes we can get very discouraged, you know, with um, looking at things around us. Um, maybe it's a lot of things going on in our minds. Um, you know, you look at the news and it's always something bad. It's nothing good or nothing positive going on. And then when you hear about tragedy of young people getting um, um hurt or killed or someone losing their life, you know, that can, that can be a Debbie Downer to anybody's day. And I know personally, um, it can definitely be a Debbie Downer to my day. And it has been, um, I have found myself looking at things that, um, you know how it is on YouTube. You can look at one thing, and uh, maybe it's uh, somebody's funeral. And then next thing you know, YouTube is showing you everybody's funeral in the world. And it's like, I really don't want to, <laughs> you know, I just looked at one thing and now you're showing me a plethora of things. And But it's like that. And we can get ourselves into that cycle of looking at negativity after negativity after negativity. And it can really put um, our minds and our hearts in a place. Um, but sometimes I, I get really discouraged. When I look on the internet, on the news or the state of the world, and it makes me think, why in the world are people so mean? And to be honest, sometimes it could knock the wind out of the most positive person and even make you question God in the process. So today I want us to talk about all of this. And even though the world may be off center, there are things we can do to stay positive in the midst of it all. So today we're going to talk about keeping a losing focus, keeping a losing focus on this Sunday's thought um, edition. Um, A couple of years ago, I found myself very distraught over a shooting that happened in a nearby city. And when I heard about it, I was saddened, as I always am when I hear of someone taking someone else's life. But this time was different. It wasn't someone that I knew, but rather someone that I didn't know. And now someone that I would not ever get a chance to meet. The individual was so young and full of life. They served God, at least from what I could see when I read about them. They were positive, love, life, love, family. And had quite a few things going on for themselves. And they were only 35. The age I was at the time when I heard about it. And I have to admit, and I never like to do it, but I found myself questioning God. God, why? Why so young? Why so presumably innocent? Why the family man? Why the church man who was trying to do everything to live right? I was hurt. 
And within that hurting place, I began to think of ways that maybe I could have done God's work better by being in place to prevent the incident from ever happening without hurt nor harm to them or anyone around them. I became a little flustered with God as I told him what he should have done and how he should have done it. And I know that was wrong. I know. But for a brief moment, I lost focus. I lost focus on whom the creator was. I lost focus on the fact that he does everything for a reason. I lost focus on whom the Alpha and Omega were. I lost focus on the man that causes the sun to set and the moon to rise. I lost focus on the one whom with one word causes my spirit to awaken and my breathing comes back to normal. I lost focus on whom I was and whom I was trying to challenge and go against. A man that with one word could end my life immediately. I totally lost focus. I lost focus on the one who tells old death to behave all during the night while I sleep and slumber in my bed. The world is a nasty place. And while we may not yet understand why things happen or why in our terminology, why things good things or why bad things happen to good people. We still have to believe and trust that God sees all, knows all, and has everything in control. The ways of this world with its harmful explosive bombs have a way of tugging at the minds, the hearts, and the faith of even the strongest person in the Lord. Still, the Bible clearly states, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, Whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And that's Philippians 4 and 8. You see, God knew we would face such negativity and didn't want us to fret or worry, but he wanted us to think about positive things. It's not that God wants us to be naive to circumstances, but he knows that such unfocused thinking does not do good for our spirits. And instead of keeping our focus on him, we will lose it to things that are beyond our control. You've heard the saying, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So once we lose focus, it jeopardizes our faith in God leaving room for the enemy to come and play and lead us off into another dimension where God does not reside. And when he does that, it's hard and sometimes impossible to not only regain your focus, but get back on track. Yes, we may and do get sidetracked by devastating news and such things, but there's a time and place for everything and while we may not always understand the ways of the world or the things that go on within it, so be careful about where you allow your focus to go and how long you allow it to stay there. Just remember that God loves and cares for you so much. He needs you to survive. And by surviving, that means keeping your focus on Him. That was it for today's episode. I hope you were inspired and feel positive vibes whenever you spend some time with me, Rashonda, and the Matters of the Heart podcast. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to join me next time as we dive deeper into our spiritual, mental, and physical journey. If you enjoyed today's episode, share it with your friends and family so we can grow our community as we all learn together. You can also follow Matters of the Heart podcast on Facebook to stay tuned for what's coming next. Say, stay with me by subscribing wherever your favorite music and podcast stations reside. And as always, watch your heart because its actions will follow. Thank you for listening. And until next time, take care.